Hi everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Luke, or Unflinching Alva, or Spaghetti and Meme Balls. You might know me by any of those or none of those. It's totally fine. I wrote a write-up on Marauders after the second, what was that, the beta. It posted on the Reddit. You might know me from that. A big-ass long novel. Uh, I'm really invested in this game. I really want to see it grow. I'm not a developer. Um, I have no connections to small impact games or T17 or anything like that. So... Over the last few days, me and my friends and family have been playing the absolute crap out of this game. It's a really great game, but there's a lot of questions regarding armor, uh, gun damage, little stuff like this that's really confusing. You know, how does it work? Is it like Tarkov where it's got penetration chance and crap like that? Seen lots of questions on the Discord and the Reddit and just all over the internet. So we kind of wanted to get together and do a little test and test some of these things. This is by no means a comprehensive test. It needs a lot more data to be complete. Uh, I'm not Veritas or anybody like that over on Tarkov land where they just, you know, that's what they do. So what we found was very interesting and I think can clear up a lot of stuff. It's a lot more simple than I think a lot of us want to believe. So it was relatively easy to come up with some data. Uh, I will let this footage run. It is raw footage. Uh, I edited it up and chopped it up a little bit, but other than that, I'm not going to have any commentary over the top of it. I'm just going to let it run so you guys can see what we did. There's a few little things here and there where the, my buddy's math was off. Totally fine. At the end of the video, there will be a bunch of graphics where we can run back through everything we learned, and it will have all the damage, all the models, all the stuff like that from what we learned. And uh, like I said, this should be pretty good. And uh, at a later date, once we get further into early access, we should be able to build upon this stuff because maybe this stuff's not going to stick around. Maybe they update the damage models. There's going to be some bug fixes and there's going to be model changes and that's totally fine. But this is what we learned and some of our best guesses. So we'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so I got my boys here. I got Zachy Poo and Alana. Dr. Ivan. Do oh, Dr. Ivan and <laughs> Alana. Uh, we're going to answer... Dr. Alana. Yeah, Dr. Alana. <laughs> We're gonna use our use our uh, educational titles. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm I'm Doctor Alva uh, or Luke, Doctor Ivan, and Doctor Yagadvoot. It's pretty good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna answer questions uh, that the community kind of is interested in. Um, these are like about armor, gun damage, and just etc. Things. So number one, do guns or bullets do damage? And the answer is the gun does damage. So it's not nine millimeter like Tarkov. Uh, if you go into the weapons menu, you can see clearly the Luger P08 does 24 damage. It's a nine millimeter. The Sten is also a nine millimeter and it does 20. So to answer your question, the guns do do damage. If I had to take any bet, my bet is that the armor is linearly scaling, so each one's going to block a certain amount of damage, I would and every you. tier blocks X amount of damage times whatever armor tier. So the higher tiers are going to make you into an absolute beast. Right. But the real question is, does it apply to the rest of the body? I'm going to wager that's a no, Probably. which would which might be kind of interesting, just having a fully tanked guy, so you just pop him in the knee until he just falls down and croaks, but I guess yeah. we'll see. You're okay. okay. Everybody's fine with losing this shit, right? Obviously. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're about to kill each other. Well, tab one. Tab, now, tab, tab in. How much percentile do you have left? 78. 78. So, uh, so close enough might also be that the uh, proximity is affecting that. It might be a distance of 10 meters, or it could imply that we have less than 100 HP. Good. All, All right, right Lanny. Ready? Here's your next one. All right. Dr. Bullet is going to go into uh, Dr. Elena's left leg. Luke, demonstrate. That was the right leg, but good try. <laughs> Dr. Elena, report. 67. 67, so it does matter. We only saw a 11% decrease on a 20 damage bullet. So there seems to be some kind of damage drop off. Uh, put Do one in lens. her foot. Put one in her foot. I'm curious of something. How much? Five. Would you say 55? Yes. So it looks like each limb has its own set value. The legs seem to be somewhere around the 10 to 11% range, uh, or I guess would be more like a 60% damage, regardless if you hit them in the foot or the leg. And then the chest seems to have roughly 100% of the damage transfer. So, so we can reasonably assume that, yeah, the damage to the chest, that's the, generally the bullet damage, 20, is to the chest. 
Very fortunate that people aren't just blasting us out of the sky currently. Thank you, Marauder community. You are. They knew uh, science was happening. You really, <laughs> you really going with this cringe doctor thing the whole time, Hell aren't you? Hell yes, boy. <laughs> just underneath an asteroid. Doing science. You had a You had a hundred? All right, go. All right. So come back here. We want you probably as far back as possible. So we know that 22 damage from right the chest about from there. about yeah, oh, come two back to three bit. meters. All right. All right, I'm scooting way back here. I'm going to cockpit you all the way back. Here comes a chest shot. 77. That's... So da there is no damage drop-off. No there damage is, drop in fact, off. no damage drop-off. Okay. So that's the good to know. So if you're thinking, should I wait till I get closer? The answer is no. No. Blast him while you got him. Blast while you got him. Shoddy work at the best, but what can we do? I think what we'll do here is test uh, what armor tiers, like how much, is it a set chance or is it, you know, random. So I'm going to shoot you in the chest and tell me the damage that it does to you. Okay, you ready? Yep. 82. Okay. So, so we saw roughly a five to six damage reduction from okay. that with tier six armor. All right. You were at, uh, you dropped down to 82, right, when I shot you in the chest? Yep. Okay, you ready? So you should expect there to be somewhere around 55, or just 65. 63. Oh, so. even more. So there is some, there is a little bit of RNG with the damage, it seems. I think what, what probably is, your gun probably does roughly about 10% up or down of the indicated value when you inspect it. Correct. I would agree with that. All right, so, so now, what about you? You ready? Yep. 85. So you went down to 82, correct? Yes. So it looks like there is some sort of nonlinear scaling here. Okay. Uh, the tier 5 only blocked roughly 5 damage, but then my tier 7 blocked 3% more. So there seems to be some kind of greater return per tier upgrade going from 6 to 7. Okay, here we go. You ready? Another six. Yep. How much? How much percentage do you have left? Eighty-two. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Started at eighty-two, and I went to sixty-three. So believe. nineteen damage. So before we took sixteen-ish, seventeen-ish damage. So there indicates there's some sort of RNG, or the deterioration of the vest matters a lot. Yeah. Mine was fairly consistent at fifteen, sixteen. Here, pump one more round into my chest. I'm curious. So I took 17 damage this time. So the durability does matter then, possibly. The durability seems to matter. I went 15, 16, 17 with armor going from 85 to 82. So there seems to be one more time, one more, one more round to the chest. I got, I got it. 22 damage this time. So there 22 seems to be percent of damage anyway. Twenty two percent, fifty two to thirty five. So and my flak vest was only three points down. I don't know. Ready? Mm hmm. Sixty nine. So another fifteen percent, or another fifteen percent, pretty much okay. to the T. Well, so I know one more time. Yeah, here let me. If I'm correct about the logarithmic HP, I will die. Huh. Thirty five. So eighteen percent. So. We're just with a couple points of durability loss, we're experiencing fairly large increase in damage. My question here is does yeah, does the armor cover the leg or the arm? So what's your HP currently, Elena? Sixty three. Okay. All right, so if this is true then she if the armor does not apply, she should receive roughly twelve percent or twelve damage. Okay, you ready, Elena? Fifty one. Twelve damage, what 12. did I tell you? <laughs> Armor only covers what you see. Right. Does armor cover your legs? No, it does not. There, the damage reduction from hitting a limb seems significant enough that even with higher tier armor, until maybe you're hitting the tens and tens and above, you should probably aim for chest. Now, if they're rearing and tanking at you with level thirteen armor, might be good to go for the legs. Yeah, it. Uh... We're not. Well, we don't have that high of tier. So we're unable to kind of present. So there any... is there is a leg meta in this game. If so. someone's full, coming at you fully geared, legs are the key there. Do not body shot. You are just wasting your time. Okay. Now, 
if you have if you catch them by surprise pump it into the chest that's your better bet with a fully automatic weapon because apparently the durability decrease significantly reduces the armor's uh actual blockage of damage right. so it can catch them by surprise but if we're talking about an all-out firefight the legs are going to be your better bet so what was the percentage difference there in damage do you remember so she received 18 damage i received 15 on the first shot so, so there that's... seems and and the base damage is roughly 20 to 22 meaning she got about a five damage reduction whereas i received closer to a 10 so so almost it... like every tier you go up i mean we need to have different armor we don't have much armor so this isn't conclusive i'm not going to say this but you could almost say damage reduction goes up by five or ten percent each armor class i would say probably a minimum of five all right somewhere you know, between I'm... five and ten percent meaning that if you have that higher t armor they're really going to have to run through you in order to actually start dealing significant damage uh did somebody bring dr water go stand what over is there. dr water Dr. Water is in it's the water. Dr. Water Tower. It's, it's the Dr. Water right there here. There is the Dr. Water what the Tower. Heck? <laughs> my vest. Yeah, all right. It's my, it's still damaged, right? My vest is at 38 out of 40. So oh. she was receiving almost 18 to 19 damage of the original 20 to 22 damage that we've established the gun at. Okay, you ready? Yep. What percentage? 84. 84? Yes. So 16. So there seems to be some variance, but the durability does seem to matter in. in some okay. respect. Perfect. Zach, you're up with the helmet trick. Oh, boy. I know helmets for a fact will block this. Okay, how much damage did 35. It do? So it did 65 damage. So Woo! there seems to be a damage multiplier to the head. I don't think anybody is surprised okay. by that. But at this rate, it seems to be the goings of about three times the damage that you otherwise would receive. All right, I'm going to shoot you right in the face. Ready? All right. Okay, so... I'm at 39. You're at 39. Perfect. So it basically does the same amount of damage reduction, depending so on whether... So face shots do not does, matter. For doesn't matter. Shots. So that is even more evidence for mm -hmm. a leg meta in Marauders. Now, aim for the center of my backpack and shoot me. Okay, so uh, I'm down to 78 health to a raw back shot. So it doesn't look like the doesn't look like the backpack blocks anything then. Yeah. So somewhere once again, 10% variance between from tw well, how much damage does that do? Uh, that's a Luger. The Luger that's 20. That's 20. So we expect somewhere between 10% up and down, given a little bit of RNG. So that does kind of fit within no yeah. blockage. Do it again just for consistency sake. All right, Linus, shoot me in the back. Ready? Yep. 55. So 21. So, yep, pretty much looks like backpacks do not block a damn thing. Blast. If you guys are doing something, I ain't seeing it. Okay. Nope, doesn't appear to do a damn thing. Nope, there is zero damage received. Okay, so let's recap some things. Do guns or bullets do the damage? Um, we saw that guns do, in fact, do the damage. That is the damage models. Uh, they come directly from the guns. Again, you can just go to your weapons menu, and you will see all the stats there in the bottom right. How much health do you have? We assume 100, um, but there could be some play with that. Um, like I said, it's in a percentage-based system. You know, It says 100% in-game, so we're not quite sure. But again, we assume probably about 100. Does damage drop off due to distance? Uh, it doesn't appear so. Um, obviously, that wasn't the longest shot you can do in the game. There's some pretty open areas, but for the most part, you're not going to be shooting people from very much further than that on a consistent basis. It's a pretty in-your-face kind of game, so I wouldn't worry too much. If you've got them in your sights, just try to drop them. So the raw body shot damage um, is pretty easy to gauge. It's a little weird. So again, the chest, it went from 100 to 78 on the first shot, down to 22. Uh, the back was 22, and the back again on the second shot was 23. Um, so it's about a one times damage. You're looking at possibly a 10% up or down from the gun's listed damage. Um, possibly the listed damage is the minimum. Now, this leg damage I have seen disputed. Some people say it's 0 0.75, but obviously our model shows a 0 0.65. So who knows? So how does armor damage work? Is it consistent scale to durability based? It seems to be consistently durability based, but 
maybe I'm wrong. So again, the level seven flak vest is what we did the most testing on. And again, that was 15, 16, 17, 17, 17. So the, compare that to the raw body damage of 22. It does seem the further the durability is damaged, the more damage you take. Um, so that is a bit different. With the level six, you had 18 and 19 on the shots of the chest compared to the 22 that was raw on the leather jerk, and it was 16 compared to the 22. So how does it work? Um, does durability matter? It does seem likely. Armor tiers are likely to decrease incoming damage by 5% more per tier. So what that means is basically, I would assume if it's a tier five, you're getting a 5% reduction. Like tier 10, you're getting 30%, but that's if it's just a consistent if that's how they did it. I, I honestly don't know. I didn't have enough armor to test. Um, we could have gotten a bunch more armors and done a bunch more tests, which we might do at a later date, or we will do at a later date. But I'm just going to go ahead and assume each tier, it jumps it up by about 5%. So does armor cover the legs? No. Uh, leg meta could be a valued strat if up against higher tiered players. Um, I would definitely agree if you have a really fast firing weapon and you are very close to somebody wearing full panzer gear, shoot them in the legs. I would, I mean, the head's going to be pretty good too, but legs might be all right. Do all helmets cover the face? Yes, they do. Damage stats with the style helm um, to the back of the head was 65 damage to the face was 61 damage. So we weren't wearing the welding mask. Like I said, light style helm. I'm assuming it's going to be the same way for everything. Just wanted to hop in here right quick. Had to record this after the original recording, but it was something I noticed while editing. The damage on the helmets doesn't match up with our damage models on the vests. So if you paid attention during the vest section, everything increased by about a percentage point. So, you know, the 15, 16, 17 model. With the helmet, however, being shot in the back of the head did 65 damage, but to the face it did 61. I assumed it would be 65 to the back of the head and then 66 to the face, considering it just seemed like every time it went up. So figured I'd just interject that there so you guys knew that as well. It's quite a odd thing, I thought. Do backpacks reduce damage? No. The All those shots there to the back were with the backpack. Um, as you can see, chest and back did the same amount of damage. So can you damage a ship from the inside? This is a little bit of a fun question. We just wanted to know um, why we were doing this. And the answer is no. I don't know if that will change by the time the game comes out once they re-implement grenades. But at the current moment, no, you cannot damage a ship from the inside. So I thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a really new channel I've been wanting to start for a while. I've got quite a catalog of videos to release. Play a lot of Hunt Showdown, play a decent amount of Tarkov, a lot of Hell Let Loose. Kind of a family-oriented channel in a way. It's mainly my sisters and my wife and my best friend and, you know, their husbands and stuff. So I do a lot of a lot of Hunt Showdown, a lot of Hell Let Loose, a lot of stuff like that. So when we're also going to have some discussions on many different things. I love doing write-ups um, for video games and RPGs and TTRPGs and stuff like that that I might really want to share with you guys and just general design for hobbies of mine, such as making video games and stuff like that. So if you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, like I said, if anybody wants to build on this data we have, that would be great. And uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. I'm bringing in more Dr. Waters. Dr. Waters. Yeah. We, the, we ran out of Dr. Pepper years ago. <laughs> for 70 years, we've been thirsty for Dr. Pepper.